I factory reset this old Surface tablet but could not get Windows 10 to update. My name is Michael and I eventually figured out how to force Windows to update. I did a bunch of stuff to get it to work so I don't know if everything was necessary but I'm going to show you each step and you should try to update after each one. If your machine updates at any point, just stop. But watch the video to the end because you might be wasting hard drive space after a big successful update. First things first, always back up anything you cannot lose and create a restore point because there's always a risk when poking around in Windows system files. I had nothing to lose because I factory reset this PC and you can see that video here. Windows won't automatically check for updates during active hours, so first thing I did was shorten that time so it would update while I was trying to fix it. You can change it back later. Also, some of these processes will take a long time. Keep your computer plugged in and change the power settings so your screen will turn off but your computer won't sleep. Otherwise the process will stop before completing and that might cause some issues. First you want to open an elevated command prompt, which is just the command prompt run as administrator. If you get a UAC check, click yes. You'll want the elevated command prompt for all these commands because you're making changes to the protected operating system files. Run system file checker with the scan now switch. This will check Windows to see if any system files have been corrupted, modified, or are missing. If so, it automatically replaces that file with the correct version. If SFC fixed any errors, try the Windows update. If no luck with the update, run DISM, which is an acronym that stands for Deployment, Image, Servicing, and Management. This tool checks the Windows Component Store files. This has nothing to do with the Microsoft Store. The Windows Component Store contains all the components that make up Windows. DISM is a more powerful tool than SFC, which is why it's best to run SFC first. You will run DISM with several switches or arguments. These are words after the slashes, just like the scan now for SFC. You're going to run DISM a few times. Each time the first two arguments you type will be the same, but the last argument will be different. The first two are online and cleanup image. Online simply means you're running DISM on the same Windows PC you're trying to fix, as a cleanup image means you are cleaning up and recovering the Windows operating system. Some people prefer to start with the third argument as check health, which quickly checks the existing log files for errors already discovered. I skipped that and started with scan health, which checks for component store corruption item by item. If it returns no component store corruption detected, then you're done with DISM. But mine returned the component store is repairable. So I ran DISM with restore health as the third switch to repair it. In hindsight, I could have skipped the scan health and started with restore health, but to be perfectly honest, I didn't realize that until I did my research for this video. Restore Health returned an error telling me the source files could not be found. So I ran DISM with Start Component Cleanup and then ran it with Restore Health again after it finished. No more errors, so I tried running Windows Update again, but it failed. At least DISM wasn't finding anything else to fix, so I figured I was making progress. Then I downloaded the Windows Update Assistant and ran it. Although it comes from Microsoft, this is different from the built-in Windows Update in settings. How is it different? I couldn't find an answer on the internet, so if you know, tell me in the comments. From my experience, it seems to do more of a brute force cumulative update, and it creates a windows.old folder. But if you've gone this far without a successful update, this is your last hope. Hit run and it'll download, then install, then run. It did its thing for 12 hours on my Surface, so I let it go overnight. After that, it worked. I ran it again and it told me Windows was up to date. Everything was now right in the world for my little Surface tablet. Even the trackpad was working better, so I assumed it downloaded a much needed trackpad driver in one of the updates. But then I realized there was a problem. I had lost about 25 gigabytes of hard drive space. That's a lot, especially considering this drive only had 57 gigabytes total. Why was I so low on space? It was that Windows.old folder. This is the folder Windows creates when you get a new feature update or upgrade to a whole new Windows operating system like going from Windows 10 to Windows 11. It will automatically get deleted in a month. I was sure my PC was running fine, so I wanted to delete it now. But that wasn't so easy. The folder was read-only and trying to change that would take 11 and a half hours. Ain't no one got time for that. So instead I selected the built-in disk cleanup app. Make sure to scroll to previous Windows installations and you'll see how much space it will free up. In my case, I get almost 25 gigabytes back. It warns you that you can't restore to a previous version, but that was fine with me. It took about 45 minutes and voila, 
Now you can switch back your active hours and power settings and enjoy your up-to-date Windows machine. Now, if you made the mistake of trying a clean boot like I did and got the dreaded something happened and your pin isn't available boot loop error, then I have a way to fix that, but that's for another video.